Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe and smash the like on the video. Like I keep saying the subs, the comments and the likes are going up lately. I'm I'm 45 away from 600 now, so let's try and get to that. So it's only two weeks then in well two weeks tomorrow until the EFL is back. And this is Championship official table predictions for 24 to 25 season. If you don't like my table, then let me know your thoughts in the comments and let's get straight into this video. So, starting off with 24th place, then I put Oxford United. Um, they've just came up from League One. Um, you know, uh, had a good season in League One, winning the playoffs. And I just think they'll go straight back down. They've lost to Josh Murphy to... Uh, was it Portsmouth? I think they lost him too. So, you know, I think Oxford can. I think they'll get a couple of points against big teams because everyone do it against big teams. But I do think Oxford will finish bottom of the league. In 23rd place then, I put Plymouth Argyle, um, I think, you know, they've got a couple of good players, but with Wayne Rooney coming in and it didn't work out at Birmingham C, I just think he ain't a good manager, and with a competitor, um might be going, then I think Plymouth will go down, but if he stays and Plymouth start, like, you know, fast, like, start uh, good in their first five six games then i think plymouth could stay up but at the minute i'm gonna put them in 23rd place and the last team to just go down of course it is free only go down in the championship 22nd i am putting blackburn rovers then um blackburn rovers i just think they'll go down i think losing as uh, is it sausage boy or whatever his name is um I think they'll go down there for the 19th last season and a really poor season. And with Blackburn, of course, losing them. Uh, their manager uh, is actually quite good, but I just think Blackburn will just go down. Just end up then in 21st place, then I've put Stoke City then. Stoke fans don't uh, have a go at me. I just think your transfers have been a bit slow at the minute. Um, and I do like your manager though, um, at least you're staying up, at least I ain't put you down, but I, th I think you're always finishing there now, you're always finishing the behind 14th, um, you finished 17th last season, I actually uh, did put you there actually, but I changed it and I just think you'll stay up with the transfers you've had so far, so I'm just put you in 21st. In 20th place then, just coming up, I've had to put Derby County then. I think Derby County will um, stay up. I think finishing second in League One um, last season, had a really good season. I think Derby will actually start slow, but I think they'll get it going. Um, of course, they have um, sold a couple of good players, like Connor Hall and um, Shibley, all them. Uh, but I think you've still got a couple of good players. So I do think you'll stay up in 20th. In 19th then, I've put Watford. I've seen loads of people putting them low. And I think they will be there. I think 19th. I think Watford finished 15th last season. Um, with Clevery came in last season. I think he uh, had a good season with them. But... I just think Watford, uh, they've still got a great team, but I think, you know, knowing Watford, they'll probably sack another manager, and I just think they'll finish in 19th. I think it could maybe be a bit higher, but I can't see you getting in that top half, in my opinion, so 19th for me. In 18th place, then, I've put Portsmouth. Um, I think Portsmouth will have a good season in the championship in their first season so a couple of good players Whitney won last season as well uh, got a good manager 
and I think Portsmouth will start fast. Um, if they start fast, they'll definitely stay up. If they start short, I think they'll stay up, but I think it could just be staying up. But I do think they'll finish in 18th place. In 17th place, and I've actually put Swansea. Uh, Swansea finished 14th last season. They had an okay season. Uh, with their manager, though, uh, former Nuts County manager, I just think Swansea will be... I, I don't know. I think they'll be low table. I think they've got all right players, a uh, couple good ones, but I do think Swansea need to get it going, and I just think they'll be about there. So, yeah. In 16th place, then, I've actually put Preston North and then. Preston had a good season last season, finishing 10th place. Um, I do think Bre Preston will uh, finish short this season. I think, you know, I think it's going to be loads of teams fighting that mid-table, fighting for a playoffs, and I just don't think Preston would do it again. So I think they'll finish in 16th. 15th place, then, I've actually put Sunderland. Um, Sunderland finished in 16th last season, so I just think they'll finish one higher. Um, I think they've got a couple of good players like Clark, uh, Joe Benningham, all that. And I just think it wouldn't surprise me if Sunderland could get near the players stay in that top 10, but I think they'll finish in 15th. 14th, then I've actually put Sheffield Wednesday. Um, Sheffield Wednesday, they were a big club, got some pl good players. Got a good manager as well, and when he came in, Danny Wool, Danny, Danny Wool, when he came in last season, I think he got Sheffield Wednesday going because they were like 23rd for most of last season, and with him coming in, he kept them up in 20th place. So I think Chef, with his full season, with the pre-season as well, I think Sheffield Wednesday will finish in 14th place. In 13th place then, I put Cardiff. Um, Cardiff, of course, finished in 12th last season. So I think I'll finish one lower. With, of course, signing Callum Chambers, signing Wickle as well. Uh, I think that's two good players. But I just think Cardiff will finish one lower. I think they'll be around there again. Um, so yeah, in 13. Let me know your thoughts, Cardiff fans. In 12th place, then, I put Millwall. Uh, Millwall actually been in 13th last season, so I've changed them too. Uh, I think Millwall will have a good season. I hope they do because I've called their last sergeant um, this summer, of course. He did pass away, unfortunately. Um, so, it's sad news, and I do hope Millwall will do well, and I think they will. I think they'll finish in 12th spot. In 11th spot, then... I'm going to go Hull. I think, to be honest, I think Hull could actually finish lower. With losing their manager, losing Greaves, losing their goalkeeper, losing Villagine, I really think Hull could finish lower. But I'm going to put them left for a minute. They're finishing seventh last season, just missing out on the playoffs. And I think losing all them players, I think Hull could finish lower. So 11th spot for Hull. In 10th spot then, I've actually put QPR. I think QPR will get near the playoffs um, this season. I think they're a good side. They're finishing 18th last season, but with their new manager coming in, like Sheffield Wednesday, he got them going. And I think with his full season, I do think QPR um, will get in the top 10, so 10th spot. Ninth place down, I think they could be my dark horses. I'm going to go Bristol City. Uh, they finished in 11th last season. And I think it'll be really good if Bristol City got near the playoffs. Uh, I think they were a good side. Um, and I'm just going to put them in ninth spot. Eighth spot then, I'm going to put Norwich. Uh, Norwich, of course, finished in sixth last season. But with their new manager coming in... Uh, with a couple of players going out, I think Norwich will be around the players just missing out. Um, and no one really know much about um, their manager, so we'll have to wait and see. But I think they'll finish in 8th spot. Just missing out then in 7th spot, I've actually put 
um, Sheffield United have just came down from the Premier League, got a good manager in Chris Wilder, but a couple of players have went out. McBurney, uh, Cameron Archer, a couple of more as well. They brought in like Callum O'Hare. Um, so, you know, I think Sheffield United will be near the players, but I do think they'll just miss out in seventh spot. <laughs> Just getting players then in um, sixth spot, then I've actually put West Bromwich Albion. Uh, West Brom, they're finishing fifth last season, so I think they'll just fit in one lower, but I still think they'll get players. They've got a great manager. I think their manager um, is one of the best in the championship. They've got some good players as well, like Jerry Wallace, John Swift, Thomas Alante, if he stays. So, you know, I do think West Brom will get in sixth spot. In fifth spot then, I've put Middlesbrough. I think Middlesbrough will have a good season. They're finishing eighth last season, um, but with a good carrot there, I think they'll get players. I always back Middlesbrough to get players every season and they don't, but I think they could be the season when they do get the players. They need to start faster because they always start slow. So I'm going to go fifth place Middlesbrough. Fourth place then, I've actually put Coventry. Uh, Coventry finished ninth last season. They only focused on the FA Cup. They went far in that. But I think they need to focus on the championship this season. And I think they will. I think they've got some good players. Yes, Callum O'Hare has went. But they've still got um, good players play like Ellis Sims, um, Roy, um, you know, all of them. Uh, Sakamoto, you know. They've got some good players going forward, and I think Coventry will finish in fourth. First players then, I'll put Luton Town then. Luton Town just coming down from the Premier League. I think they'll have a really good season um, in the Championship. Luton Ross Barkley, probably a big miss, and I think if he stayed in that midfield for Luton, I think they would have finished higher. But I'm going to just go third of him. And Rob Edwards is a good manager. And I think Luton will finish in third. In second place then, I've actually put Burnley. Uh, Burnley, of course, just came down from the league. got Scott Parker in charge now. Uh, he has won the players, won promotion with a couple of clubs like Bournemouth, you know. So I do think Burnley will finish in second place. And winning the league, I think they probably will this season, is Leeds United. They're finishing third place. Uh, of course, they could be losing some of their couple of players, but I still think they'll win the league. They've got a stronger squad to do it. They've lost Archie Gray as well, but I think they will win championship 24-25 season. There you go, guys. That's the end of the video. Do the video, subscribe, and like. Let me know your championship table in the comments. Subscribe, smash the like, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.